Today I'm going to interview head coach of Nottingham Forest to see why so many players don't make it as a professional footballer. I started playing football for QPR at the age of 11 and played for them for five years. I got released at 16 and have had trials at different clubs such as Brighton and West Ham but haven't had any success. 90% of academy players don't make it as professional footballers. Why is this? Hopefully interviewing Jimmy Field Hasselbank we can get some insight into why this happened. I'm an engineering friend. Today I'll be interviewing Jimmy Floyd Asimov. And Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has added his second. Many hopefuls like myself attend trials hoping to impress coaches like you. Is that mm. what, what attributes do you think make a good player? Um, a good player is somebody obviously who's got ability, but not only ability in, 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 in skill. You know, you have to be having uh, ability also in, in wanting to work and wanting to uh, learn. And majority of the times, it is it is um, being open to new things. So, what qualifications did you need to become a coach? Um, I done my uh, my C, my B, and now I've got my A license. Um, and the only one that I need to still take is my pro license, and the pro license you need. To be able to manage in the Premiership. Right. Who was your favourite coach throughout your whole career? Um, best coach that I had, I think, was uh, Louis van Gaal, uh, Gus Hiddink. But the best one for me personally, who basically moulded me as a person, was um, George Graham. So what does your daily routine as a coach involve from the moment you step into a training ground? So when I was a player, um, I just had to turn up 9.45 at, at the training ground. My stuff would be ready, uh, put my boots on and at 10.30 we were ready to train. Now I wake up at like around 7.30, be at the training ground around quarter past 8, uh, starting to prepare for the players already um, what they're gonna do for the day um, and then uh, watching DVDs of the opponents you know who we are playing on a Saturday and then uh, writing up a few bullet points for the strikers midfielders or, or defenders or whoever uh, and then talk with the players uh, before training about those things and then train. Um, it depends what day it is, you know, what day what day it is in the week, what you do on, on training. If it is a Friday, then it is specifically for the game. What what are you studying for? Sports management. Sports management. Yeah. Okay. And and what direction do you want to go? I have like uh, just been at a football club doing some sports management, or having my own sort of like sporting complex or something like that. You don't have to be really big to be a right back. Mm -hmm. You just have to be smart. You know, yeah. if you don't have to, uh, if you're not as strong as the others, you have to be smart. You mm -hmm. know, so okay. work with your brain. Keep on training. Keep on believing, and keep on playing as much as possible with older and stronger players. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 
I will get you um, a tour at Nottingham Forest so that you can have a look behind the scenes. So if there is something uh, you can pick up for your education, the sports managing education, it would be at, at an environment like that, you know, and, and it might give you a direction where you want to go uh, for in the future. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, head coach at Nottingham Forest, and it looks like now I'm off to Nottingham Forest to see the backroom stuff.